Hello friends, have you ever thought what is light? This video is about light. So let's start. Light is a form of energy. We cannot see objects in darkness. But as we switch on the lights, it makes the objects visible. Some common examples of sources of light are sun, bulb, etc. Sun is a natural source of light, whereas bulb is a man-made source of light. Now, let's see the classification of object based on tendency to produce light. First is luminous objects. An object which has a tendency to produce light are known as luminous objects. Example, sun, bulb, candle, torch, etc. Second is non-luminous objects. An object which does not have a tendency to produce light known as a non-luminous object. Example, Moon Hey, do you know that light travels in a straight line? Let's do an experiment and see. Take a cylindrical tube which can be easily bent. Now try to see a candle through it. You will be able to see a candle through it. Now take the same tube and bend it at some angle. But this time you will not be able to see this candle. Why? Because light travels in a straight path. Now let's see types of object. First one is transparent object. An object through which light is completely passed is known as transparent object. We can clearly see through this object. Next is translucent object. An object which allows partial passage to light is called a translucent object. We can see through a translucent object but the vision would be murky. Third one is opaque object. An object which does not allow passage to light is called an opaque object. We cannot see through this object. Now let's see what is shadow. When a ray of light falls on an opaque object, a dark patch is formed on the other side of the object. This is known as shadow. Three things are required for the formation of shadow. A source of light, opaque object and a screen. Size of the shadow is totally dependent on the distance between the source of light and the object. Closer the source of light, larger will be the size of the shadow. Far the source of light, smaller will be the size of the shadow. Now let's study reflection. When a ray of light falls on a surface like glass which has a shiny and glossy properties from where light gets reflected. This phenomena of bouncing back of light is known as reflection. During reflection, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection.